In order to update your TI Inspire operating system, you're first going to want to go to education.ti.com. Once the page loads, you're going to want to go to the Downloads and Activities menu and click on Apps, Software, and Updates. From the page that follows under Technology, you'll want TI Inspire, and under View, you'll select Connectivity Software. From this page, you'll want to select TI Inspire Computer Link Software, and clicking on it will give you the option to download either the Windows or Macintosh. I'm working on Windows. You can either register or continue as a guest. And once you've completed that process, you'll see that the software begins to download. Once the file has finished downloading, you'll need to open the file to begin the installation process of the connectivity software. At this point, it's a matter of doing the usual click-throughs of the installation process, clicking Next, accepting licenses, and so on. When you start the software up, it will automatically look for a TI Inspire connected to the computer. At this point, we don't have a TI Inspire connected to the computer, so I'm just going to cancel out of this and come back to it in a minute. Now we still need to download the updated version of the operating system. So we're going to go back to the main screen on the TI website, select TI Inspire again, but this time we're going to select Handheld Operating System. It's very important to understand at this point that I'm showing an installation for a TI Inspire that already has TI Inspire 3.0 or greater installed on it. If you're running a version older than 3.0 on your Inspire, you're going to have to upgrade to 3.0 first unless you're running one of the very original versions of 1.3 and below, uh, which adds even another upgrade to the process. As a quick aside, if you're not sure what version of the operating system you're running, Click on Home, go to Settings, and choose Status. Now at this point you'll see the version of your operating system. Hopefully it's at least 3.0. If it's not, you're still going to be able to do the upgrade, but you're going to have a couple of incremental upgrades to do first. So if you're not at at least 3.0, do find the icon that you see there on the screen that aligns with your version of the TI Inspire, and click on it, and there will be further instructions on how to do those incremental upgrades right there on the TI website. Regardless of whether you're updating to 3.2 or an earlier version of the operating system along the way, just follow along with what I'm doing at this point by downloading the version of the operating system that you need for your Inspire. So I am downloading version 3.2 and you can see it downloading in the lower left hand corner. Once that's done, you're going to need to connect your TI Inspire to your computer, which is easily done with a standard to mini USB that comes with the calculator or can be purchased at any electronics retailer. And if this is the first time you've connected your TI Inspire to your computer, you are going to need to let it install the appropriate drivers and it should auto detect what is needed. You may have to click OK to allow it to do so. Once your TI Inspire is recognized by your computer, you're going to want to go back into the TI Inspire connectivity software and click the green refresh icon and this time you should see your Inspire and so select it. 
And so at this point, we're finally ready to install the operating system for the Inspire. So you want to go into the Tools menu and select Install Handheld OS. And then just find the file that you downloaded earlier, the operating system for the Inspire. Once you've got that located, you'll click on it and select Install OS. And yes, you will want to install the file. So at this point, you should see messages both on the computer and on the Inspire itself, indicating that the file is being installed, that the new operating system is progressing, and eventually you'll see a progress bar right there on the TI Inspire handheld. And after a while, it will reboot, and you'll get an OK message on the computer telling you that you've succeeded in updating your TI Inspire operating system.